Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's Community Question. My name is Alex, and I hope you've all been enjoying gaming in 2018 so far. As I mentioned last week, lots of games are starting to come out again, and some of our favorite games are being updated with new content and modes. What a time we live in these days. Before we ask the community question this week, we'll need to read and reply to all your answers from last week's question today. For the people who missed it, last week's question was, Name a video game character you'd like to play games with. I know you guys know who I chose, but let's run through all your answers and see what you all came up with. BioPhoenix writes, Probably Duke Nukem. Just hearing all the over-the-top one-liners would be worth it. Duke Nukem's a hilarious choice, particularly given that he's clearly inspired by Arnold. But could this be a weird situation of one too many one-liners? Maybe his penchant for violence and destruction can break up the moments. Great pick. Matt Maid writes, Travis Touchdown from No More Heroes. We'd have so many arguments over games and anime stuff. Also, I'd like to see that sweet bike and beam katana he has. Would probably end up playing a lot of fighting games like Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Uh, excuse me, Namco Bandai. Dragon Ball Fighters and Street Fighter V with him. Travis Touchdown is probably one of my favorite characters in video games that came from the previous generation. His cult status of being the quintessential otaku and gamer bro is legendary at this point, and we all have Suda51 to thank for that. Also, not to belie the point, but Namco Bandai really wants us to pronounce the Z as an S? Minus cool points for you, bruh. Naoto Ace 211 ex writes, Donkey Kong, so he can give me tips on how to finish Donkey Kong Returns. Wait, 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 wait a second. You want to team up with Donkey Kong to finish his own game? Huh, that's certainly unique. Though it would be weird if you played the original Donkey Kong or Donkey Kong 3 and would have to defeat him again. Bad monkey. Bad. Xander Scullion writes, I would eat onigiri with Alex Kidd and play some Sega Master System games. Sega needs to bring that dude back. I originally thought that Alex Kidd and Wonder Boy were the same, so I did some digging and found out that while they were both on similar platforms, that they're often compared because of their cult status. The last time we saw Alex Kidd was in Project X Zone 2, when Ula La from Space Channel 5 would summon him and other Sega characters as part of her solo unit attack. I do think it's time for Alex Kidd to come back, as I feel that a 3D version of his games would actually be super fun to play. Bufudine writes, I'd play games with Yukimura Sanada from the Sengoku Basara games due to how passionately he fights on the battlefield and how loyal and obedient he is to his Lord Shingen. He would make for one of the most helpful co-op partners. I asked Bufudine if he referred to the Dynasty Warriors style Sengoku Basara or the Capcom fighting game of the same name, and he said the former. The way he talked about how they combined the nature of Dynasty Warriors with a combat system akin to Devil May Cry fascinated me, and I've no doubt that Sonata-san would tear the battlefield apart with that kind of moveset. For some reason though, now I'm imagining him in a tactical co-op based shooter for some reason. Terry309 writes, Probably Falco Lombardi from Star Fox. He's kinda got that friendly rivalry going on with Fox, which would be interesting to see in PvP, as he constantly makes comments on Fox's performance throughout the game. The best co-op partners are often the ones you can compete with in a healthy fashion, and Falco Lombardi would certainly be my wingman. <laughs> Get it? Wingman? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna stop now. Terry and I talked in the comments about this, and truly, if you know that the person you're playing a game with is super good, they'll be able to help you out in tight situations. A fine choice. Token Geek writes, Ratchet from Ratchet & Clank for sure. Between the Quark vid comics and menu screen shenanigans, it's clear that Ratchet is a true gamer. Not to mention he's witty enough to entertain throughout. I never considered Ratchet as a gamer, but then again, I'm not too familiar with this franchise as I played a lot more of Sly and Jack and Daxter during that era. That said, I believe it. Ratchet's always got some interesting things to say in his games, and he'd be handy in a pinch when you're trying to figure out what to do or want to catch a break from all the gaming. Real cool pick. Wavec Gaming writes, I'd have to go with Captain Price from the Modern Warfare series. Not only would he be a skilled tactical player, he'd also have surprisingly insightful and incredibly quotable comments every 15 minutes. 
Captain Price to me is like the Chuck Norris of the Modern Warfare series. You think he's dead, but he's really alive, and probably mowed down a whole compound full of soldiers. I can see how his knowledge and tactics can be highly useful in a lot of shooters out there, but can you imagine Captain Price playing chess or head-to-head -head Final Fantasy tactics? Yes, I just put that visual in your head, and you're welcome. And that's all the answers we managed to get in this video. Remember, if you want to make sure that your answer appears on next week's community question, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon so you won't miss the release of the latest episode and post a comment with your answer right away. Also, if you've got the time, you should go check out the channels of everyone who's replied. You'll never know if they make YouTube videos or not. Many members of the Backlog Battle community love their RPGs. I myself grew up on them, and it all started with Final Fantasy. I recall playing the first Final Fantasy when I was a wee lad in 1989. And with the recent Final Fantasy XIV update, I can't help but feel nostalgic for that game and the many sequels it spawned. Because of that, we're going to have a community question that I hope everybody can answer. If not, there's a link you can follow in the description below if you don't know anything about Final Fantasy. Because this question really isn't so much about Final Fantasy as it is about you. Which Final Fantasy class or job best describes you? Because certain Final Fantasy games allow for multi-classing, i.e. the selection of two or more classes or jobs, you may select more than one answer. Naturally, if you can pick one, that's fine too. I'm mainly interested in seeing why you feel that you identify with that specific class or job, so make sure to talk about the why of your selection and how that describes you. For me, I actually never thought about this in the long term growing up, but more recently, I've thought about the kinds of roles I play in online games, in particular Final Fantasy XIV, Overwatch, and Diablo, and saw the connection between them and myself. So my pick for Final Fantasy class or job that best describes me is... A Scholar. In series history, scholars are a recurring job in Final Fantasy that describes characters who are experts in the theory of warfare and often provide support during battle. I identified with a scholar because, while I dislike reading books in real life, I do like to absorb a lot of knowledge, whether it's via browsing through articles on the internet or listening to audiobooks of various topics. Furthermore, I love helping people out. The feeling of being able to give someone some great ideas, encouraging people to pursue their dreams, or even help a friend when they're down is something I try to aid with as best as I can. But like the scholar, I'm easily hurt and weakened due to the kinds of armor I wear. And while I can heal myself from time to time, the rest of the party has to continue pushing forward so we can all defeat the next big challenge. Pretty deep, huh? And that's my pick for a Final Fantasy class or job that best describes me. What's yours? Post your reply in the comments below, or send me a video response. Just remember to message me and let me know where I can find it. Thanks for watching, and I'm looking forward to reading and watching your replies.